Max Verstappen is on a huge money contract at Red Bull with his current deal running until the end of the 2028 season. Max Verstappen has revealed his huge money contract at Red Bull comes with clauses over his activity away from the track. The Dutchman is undoubtedly the hottest property in F1 right now. Having won three consecutive world titles and taken the checkered flag in 19 of the 22 Grand Prix races last year. He's currently tied to Christian Horner's team until 2028, with his current base salary a massive £43 million a year. And it seems Red Bull are keen to wrap him in cotton wool during the offseason to minimize the risk of him picking up an injury. Last year, Verstappen claimed his team denied him the chance to drive an F1 car in an exhibition event at the Nürburgring Norschleife circuit in Germany. The 26-year-old has now lifted the lid on other restrictions imposed by the constructors' champions. In an interview with Formule One.nl, it was put to the star that numerous professional footballers have clauses in their contracts preventing them from skiing. Me too. No dangerous sports, he replied. I haven't skied in five years because of the risk of breaking or twisting something with all the consequences that entails. And of course also in the knowledge that there are still years to come in which I have a great chance to become champion again and win races. If you think about that, you automatically take fewer risks. He is however, permitted to go out on his bike. A familiar notion for F1 drivers when undergoing their own personal fitness regimes. But only if one condition is adhered to. Cycling is also dangerous, he added. When I go cycling, I at least put on a helmet. Verstappen, however, is no stranger to indoor extracurricular activities. He regularly competes in online simulator races, and was recently involved in the iRacing 24 Hours of Daytona event. His father, Yosh, had his own F1 career, representing the likes of Benetton and Minardi. He later moved into rally driving competing in the 24 hours of Le Mans race. But that's not a path his son envisages going down. Rallying, at 180 km per hour through the trees. I don't see myself doing that, he said. But in a remote place, maybe it is. In any case, I am aware of risks.